Microsoft's new CEO, Satya Nadella, just announced that the company will be bringing its office suite of programs, such as Word and Excel, to Apple products, such as the iPad, via its cloud server, Office 365. Here's what you need to know about it. Office 365 is a cloud-based system that gives users their licenses over the web rather than by CD or DVD. That means you can use Office's software programs anywhere you want as long as you have access to a web browser. That system makes a lot of sense for today's offices where people are required to do work from all over the place and is also better for collaboration on certain projects. I think of the opportunities being unbounded. It's a logical first step for Nadella, who came up through the company's cloud and enterprise group, meaning that he'll start his tenure on firm footing. Offering a cloud service means you can open new documents on multiple devices, even more given today's announcement. It means that you'll get more frequent upgrades so that if there are new features coming down the pike, they'll end up on your computer sooner. But that also means that you'll be paying Microsoft more regularly, particularly if you're not the kind of person who buys new software every year. Microsoft is far from the only company going in this direction. Adobe, for example, released its Creative Cloud subscriptions for Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. This model makes sense for companies who are looking for regular customers who always need their programs, as well as for picking up incidental customers who may need something like Photoshop for only a month. It also makes sense as we do more of our work on mobile devices, and Microsoft faces increasing competition from other companies such as Google and Apple to have word processing, spreadsheet, and other sorts of office programs in the cloud.